I am very envious of the TTC students who are here who get to spend a whole month listening to this ongoing uh, parade of, of just the most knowledgeable people that, that I'm usually around. And so I've been uh, delighted to share this week of sacred healing with the, the teachers uh, who are here. Joyce, I, I, I always enjoy listening to you. Joyce is just one of the, the top uh, healers. I don't, she calls herself a cell, cell healer. I, I've always known her as an energy healer, a, you know, I, I don't know if you like this word or not, but a psychic killer. And I have a lot of respect for psychic killers because uh, it played a big, big role in my life uh, in terms of uh, healing me. When your mind is scattered and busy, you're running all this beta. You don't see much of that. But you, as you deepen, if you get images, if you're imagining imagery for healing, you get into the theta if you're feeling that peaceful feel, you're running alpha. And then you get into a place that is beyond description where the experience is deep silence and quiet, but there's a kind of bliss with it that you can't manufacture. And that creates this circle pattern in the mind activity as to how much is going on. That's things called the evolved mind. There's also a high-level uh, brain activity that's called gamma, and there's not a lot known about it. But when we run gamma, you see it at the top of that scale on the, on the mind mirror. And it's not like really, really fast thought. It's almost like, what's happening here? Are we receiving? Are we receiving some frequency from somewhere else? You know, this... There's so many wonderful and beautiful questions here. The melanin in your skin and in your hair and in your eyes. Joyce said you can boil it in sulfuric acid and you can't destroy it. Do you know how it protects you from the sun? When the sun hits your skin, the melanin molecule vibrates. It dances. It dances away <laughs> the sun's harmful rays to protect you. There's melanin deep in your brain, in the substantia nigra. Why is there a light-sensitive molecule there? Are we receiving something from the mothership, from, from the divine, from eternal our God? People meditating produce up to 100,000 times more photons in their body than people not meditating. We'll give you some of that evidence. And then we're going to lead you through a meditation, a practice, so you can experience that. In my book, uh, Healing Your Life, I tell uh, the story of my own journey, my own healing journey. And uh, that was really, you know, a pivotal moment when I met this one particular healer who heals through the laying on of hands. And he raised my body temperature from 99 to 105 through the laying on of hands. And that was a good thing, because I was crippled. And uh, that catapulted, uh, moved forward my journey of healing myself. I was in uh, about 105 fever for two weeks. And it was in that state that I was able to come to an awareness of my own body and be able to uh, work with the subtle energy of my body that I can only perceive with 105 fever for two weeks. And so, uh, that was instrumental in my own healing, and I know how many people Joyce has helped with the work that she does, and, you know, I just have the deepest respect for that work. Anybody who, you know, needs convincing of the power of healing through the laying on of hands, uh, really, you should try it, you know, meet Joyce and meet other wonderful gifted healers, because they're truly, truly spectacular. <laughs>